Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Camera shooting. That's fair. That's totally fair. Sound speeds. Take one, Mark. My name is Eden Gibbons. Uh, my nickname is Eddie. That's what most people call me. But I have been working with Glass for about three, four years now. My name is Lily. I've been in the Hilltop Artist Program for five years now. I've been doing glass blowing, and um, I've also been working at the museum as well, which has been really cool. My name is Julian, and my um, uncles, they kind of, they've been doing glass blowing for a uh, like 20 years. So I was kind of like, I like just wanted to be like them, so I also did it. My name is Oliver Schaefer, and I'm a Hilltop artist who goes to Silas High School. My name is Oliver, and I've been glass blowing for about three years now. I've come here for the residency because I work for Hilltop Artists as a glass blower for the production team, making stuff for commissions or the sales. But I started in the after school program making stuff just for fun and learning. I started in the Hilltop Artist Program when I was in eighth grade. I moved here from Illinois. I remember sitting in the hot shop on the first day and all of the equipment was off and it being like, oh, oh, we're gonna have to wait for a couple of days to learn about all this before we can actually start playing with glass. And I didn't really understand even at, like first when I walked in there what was actually gonna happen. But ever since like the first day when I felt the heat from the furnace, I said, this is it. It was in my middle school, uh, Hilltop Heritage, and it was just like some class. And I thought it'd be cool to take it because, you know, class blowing, who gets to do that in middle school? I took the class and I am um, uh, like my first gather. I just like, I was hooked. I just, I just like have a passion for it and I want to get better. And it's cool to like bring like a piece home and my mom or uncle, they're like, that's cool. You know, I feel like I'm making them proud. I think glass blowing is very addictive. Once you start doing it, it's the adrenaline rush is one thing because you can't just like put the piece down. You can't be like, oh, I'm going to come back to this later. You're just, you're making continuously for, you know, it could be 15 minutes, it could be hours on end. And I think that that's what's really intriguing is you don't really have a plan, but you don't know what's going to happen during the process. So I really enjoy that. Glass blowing is one of those things where you have to be in the moment every second or it'll mess up. And I feel like it's easy for me to get distracted and not be in the moment. So glass blowing is one of those things that's really helped me like lock in. Glass blowing, it really, it just makes me feel more creative and it gives me a chance to like, put my own spin on stuff and my energy into a piece. And it just helps me forward like my mentality into stuff. Just like the whole thing of just like glass blowing and like like fusion beadworking, all that stuff that you get to do in Hilltop. It just like kind of like helps you explore the whole like um, objective of art, which to me I'd say is just to like put your emotions and yourself in your piece. My dream is to do I think goblets more and more vessel forms, but it's hard to get the money to make those. So I think Hilltop has given me good opportunities to not only learn how to do those things for the future, but also give me skills to be like, oh, hey, I can sell this and then I can make money and get um, more practice. We've had a lot of really funny moments, uh, just like goofing around down here. And it's a lot of team building. Um, I've gotten to know a lot of my teammates better and a lot of my instructors a lot better. and. It's nice to be able to come to a place where we can make the environment fun and still have a good time. I've stayed with Hilltop Artists because I really like the community and the people and I love glass blowing as a whole. I just want to compliment everybody in the Hilltop community for meeting such amazing people and great artists. I'm glad to be here. I'm honored to be here. I'm glad to share some time and some art with uh, some friends and some uh, fellow glass blowers, you know? It's nice to see how they do their work and how the pros do their work, you know? Going to high school, it's definitely going to like shape my style compared to Hilltop. So, and I'll hopefully get better and, you know, learn my style. And uh, my uncle, he like, they go to, I think, France to blow glass. Now I want to go there too because I've never been and it'd be cool to blow glass to like a whole different country. I would love to stay with Hilltop for a long time and then I would it would be cool to keep working in glass throughout life, just learning and keeping on making stuff. Even before I found glass, I uh, found fiber arts. And just when I like moved here, I really started developing my skill on that. Um, but 
uh, one day I hope to be able to combine the two mediums of fiber arts and glass blowing and become a fashion designer one day. I want to teach, but I also think that I am working on teaching now, so I would honestly, in five years, I want to be learning as well. So I think I would like to go to maybe a college for maybe glass, maybe just, I was thinking about doing like architectural work. I want to kind of put that together with glass blowing. I think that would be really interesting to do, to design pieces for a home, being able to design a home and then make art for that home. That just would be really cool for me. So that's what I want to do. I like realized maybe half a year, nine months ago, like I want to do this as a living. I want to do this for my whole life because this is just like, it's become such a big part of my life, you know? Like, like how I make my work, how I see my work. I need almost to like just do this for the rest of my life.